Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I'm wearing my, uh, well, 9-11, uh, Remembrance shirt. On the back, there's a bigger, much bigger patch than this one. I don't know if you can see it real good or not. It's uh, like a police patch badge to remember the phone during 9-11. Now we got to remember the fallen during 7-7. Another date to remember the fallen of 7-7. Granted, in yesterday's vi video I did, I said that the police officers and judges that in the cowboy days, well, they didn't have police officers, they had sheriffs, and they had deputy sheriffs. And, you know, a lot of those, uh, back in the cowboy days, you know, you didn't like a, a sheriff or a deputy sheriff, you, you know. Called him out on the street you know, to see who was the fastest. Or took him by surprise. And judges, they uh, mainly, you know, took him and hung him. Judges that didn't, uh, that were corrupt, didn't, uh, you know, do what the, the people wanted them to do. You know, that was all called cowboy justice. Today, we have a legal system. Even though the legal system is flawed, there's a lot of flaws in it. I mean, for someone to say to a police officer, I'm carrying a gun. I have a permit to carry a concealed gun. And for a police officer to say, well, don't, you know, move. But yet, I want to see your license and registration. Excuse me. How can you not move and still get your re license and registration? H how can you do both at the same time, not move and move? You can't move and not move at the same time. So when a police officer tells you, I want to see your license and registration, oh, by the way, I'm carrying a concealed weapon, so one, they ordered you to get your license registration. That was the first order that they gave you. Then the second order was not to move. Which, it, which takes precedence? The first order or the second order? I mean, you get confused when an officer is telling you to do one thing and then to do something else. Because for one thing, the officer is scared out of his wits that you're going to shoot him because you're carrying a concealed weapon. And you have a license to do so. What they need to be more scared of is what happened last night in Dallas, Texas. These men coming out with AK-47s or whatever machine guns they were and targeting police officers directly and that, <clears throat> there's some speculation that they could be linked to ISIS because one of the guys killed themselves I was mentioned yesterday that in First Kings it says that the, the uh, 
homosexuals were thrown out of the of the Judea. And I found out where that was. That's in uh, 1 Kings 15. Twelve. And he banished the perverted persons from the land and removed all idols that his fathers had made. Now, I wanted to also read something else. Okay, if I find it again here. In my broken down Bible. Colossians uh, 2 it says in uh, Colossians 2 beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the traditions of men according to the basic pr principles of the word I mean excuse me of the world and not according to Christ and also not legalism so let no one judge you in food or drink, but yet there's people judging me because I eat bacon. Or regarding to festivals, or a new moon, or Sabbath, which are a shadow of things to come, but the oh. But the substance is of Christ. Let no one cheat you of your reward, taking delight in false humility and worship of angels. Well, let's I guess I'm gonna stop there because you know they're constantly playing on uh, the TV or what happened in Dallas I'm just we're wrestling against principles of this world we're re we're wrestling against you know principalities principles We should be putting on the whole armor of God. But there's people out there that don't believe in God. So, you know, I'm talking to the choir here when it comes right down to it. And to those who don't believe in God, who want to mock me and mock other people who believe in God. You're going to find out sooner or later who's right. Because you'll be dead wrong. And is that what you want? You want to be dead wrong? Take down that website now. Take down the Kiwi Farms website now. Do it now.
because they're just like these guys going around shooting at police officers terrorists you're uh, and yeah you might not you all might not be right here in the United States of America and you think you have the right to do what you're doing because you live in another country no you don't have any right to make all the comments that you make about me you don't Think you're better because you don't believe in God? You know better than a worm that goes, uh, burrows in the ground and gets on a hook. And goes into a fish's mouth. There's a lot of stupidness going on in this world. And it's time to wake up before it's too late. Are you ready to meet your maker? God Almighty, one way or the other, either through judgment or through uh, being washed in the blood of Jesus Christ? Because we are, we will all meet our Maker. Whether we are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ and we go up during the rapture, and then, or we wait until the time comes and then the the final judgment when you're cast into the lake of fire along with your father, Satan, the devil. See, I preach what. I preach all the bad stuff before I start preaching all the good stuff. Because that's what it should be. You should be warned first before you're told if you do this, you know, God will love you. God, God loves you. God loves everybody. But your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life if you follow his commandments both old and new commandments well I, I'm you know I'm just rambling on here now but the world's gone mad police officers being scared of uh, law-abiding citizens that carry a concealed weapon and shooting and killing them and then and then these possible jihadist, jihadists shooting and killing uh, police officers it's almost like a cowboy world out there But I urge all you uh, who listen to me who do carry a concealed weapon to get a shirt. Wear a shirt that says something about you're carrying a concealed weapon. Wear a badge that says you, can, you carry a concealed weapon. That you're a, a cop, a citizen on patrol. We need to be, have something to, to tell the police officers, look, we're law-abiding citizens. We're not going to take this any longer. You know, I'm identifying myself with my shirt, with my badge, with whatever I have on me. And if you can't see it, you know, that's not, that's, that goes to show police officers they don't look. They don't listen until something like this happens.
You know, we don't know what happened up leading up to that guy getting shot. But I can tell you this, there's probably a lot of miscommunication between the police officer and that guy. The guy was probably originally told to get your ID out and your registration. And then he probably told the officer he was carrying a concealed weapon and have a concealed carry permit. Then the officer probably told him, don't move your hands. But yeah, I'm going for my ID because that's what you told me the first time. So in reality, you shot him because you told him to get his ID and his uh, registration out of, and, and hand it to him. Miscommunication is what killed him. You do not communicate. I do not need to see your driver's license and registration now. Just keep your hands on the steering wheel. That's what you should have said, officer, who shot that guy. But no, you didn't. You, 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 you made miscommunication a lot worse. I'm not no stupid idiot. But there have been so many police officers shooting people because they they're scared. They're scared that a law abiding citizen is going to get their uh, gun that they legally have the permit to carry and shoot them. Did those guys that shot them officers, killed those officers in Dallas, did they have the permits to carry those guns? I need to get off here. I've said, you know, enough as it is. It's, it's just gone stupid. We need Jesus in this country again. We need God in this country again. We need police officers to communicate with citizens. We need police officers to, to uh, be able to properly identify a person who is carrying a concealed weapon. Because they need to be have a shirt or or a badge or something, and the officer needs to be looking for the identification on their shirt or you know on their body somewhere somehow. Even if it's a sticker in the window as well, because I remember years ago they used to they were supposed to look for medical ID. And lots of times they don't do that either. If you're having a sugar low and, and uh, you're driving erratically, they think you're drunk. They don't think it's a, a sugar-related issue. They think you're drunk. They always think the bad before anything else. Because that's what they're being taught and trained. Well, the training and the teaching needs to change. Look for an ID. Look for a bracelet. Look for something on their body, on their shirt. Before you start making assumptions and thinking, oh, that person's just drunk or... or uh, I need to go out here. God bless you. Have a blessed day.